Here we're going to look at a nice problem from the 2013 Bangladesh National Math Olympiad. So our goal is to find the smallest number of the form a over b, where a and b are both positive integers, such that a over b is bigger than 31 over 17, and b is smaller than 17. Okay, so let's get to it. So this given gives us a lower bound for a over b. So notice we have 31 over 17 is less than a over b. Well, notice 31 over 17 is bigger than 1. So we know that a over b is bigger than 1. And then next, we can see that the number 31 over 16 satisfies both of these conditions. But since we're looking for the smallest number that satisfies these two conditions, we know that 31 over 16 is bigger than or equal to a over b. But this is strictly less than 2, so that tells us a over b lies between 1 and 2. Okay, next we can use the division algorithm to divide a by b with quotient and remainder. So we'll write a as b times q plus r, where r is strictly less than b, but it is bigger than or equal to zero. So again, that's just quotient with remainder. Furthermore, by the size of a over b being between 1 and 2, we know that this quotient has to be equal to 1. So that tells us that we can really write a as b plus r, where r is between 0 and b, like that. But now plugging in this expansion of a into our given inequality, we see that 1 plus r over b must be bigger than 31 over 17. Now we can reduce this problem a little bit by subtracting 1 from both sides of the inequality, that tells us that r over b must be bigger than 14 over 17. So now we can rewrite our problem a little bit. We want to find the smallest r over b such that two things are satisfied r over b is bigger than 14 over 17 and b is less than 17. And that's actually going to be a little bit easier to work with. So let's bring that up and we'll move on. So in the last board, we reduced this problem to finding the smallest r over b, such that r over b is bigger than 14 over 17, and b is less than 17. And I want to point out here that via our calculation before, r played this role of a remainder. So we, in fact, know that r is between 0 and b, but not including b. So that's important to keep in mind as well. But now we can continue to reduce the number of things that we have to check. So we have to find r over b such that r over b is bigger than 14 over 17, b is less than 17, and we might as well take the GCD of r with b to be equal to 1. Otherwise, we could just reduce the fraction a bit. Okay, so now let's do this like in a case-by-case -case setup. So let's say our first case is b equals 16. So you can check that 15 over 16 is bigger than 14 over 17, but then any fraction that satisfies these rules up here, including the GCD requirement, will be too small. And we can see that just by looking at a single case, and that is 13 over 16 is less than 14 over 17. So that's the next largest fraction with a denominator of 16 whose numerator is relatively prime to 16. Notice we have 14 over 16 as well, but we could just re reduce that to 7 over 8, which will be handled in a forthcoming case. So that means nothing past this will satisfy this size requirement right here. So that tells us at this moment, we've got one fraction that satisfies our condition up here. So now let's move down and look for some more. So let's look at b equals 15. And similar to what we did before, we can see that 13 over 15 is bigger than 14 over 17. Well, 14 over 15 is as well. But 13 over 15 is smaller than 14 over 15, so we might as well just take the smaller one. 
But then if we move smaller than 13 over 15, like to 11 over 15, we get a number that is less than 14 over 17. So we don't have any more fractions with a denominator of 15 that are helpful for this goal. Okay, so next let's look at B equals 14. So you can check that again, 13 over 14 is bigger than 14 over 17. But then if you move smaller, notice 12 over 14 doesn't need to be checked because that would be reduced. But 11 over 14 does need to be checked. But in fact, 11 over 14 is less than 14 over 17. So you get no more appropriate fractions down that line either. Okay, so now let's move on to B equals 13. So here you can check that 11 over 13 is bigger than 14 over 17. So we'll keep this 11 over 13. Well, 12 over 13 is as well. But since we want the smallest, we might as well just keep the 11 over 13. But then 10 over 13 is less than 14 over 17. And so everything with a smaller numerator with that denominator will not help us out. So, so far we've got four numbers. Now we can continue checking this in a case-by-case -case basis, giving us the following data. So similarly doing that calculation, we'll see that if B is equal to 12, that's our denominator, 11 over 12 is bigger than 14 over 17. But the next number that's relatively primed to 12 would be all the way down at seven, which is smaller than 14 over 17. Again, we've got only got to check the relatively prime numerators because we could just reduce that fraction. Next, for b equals 11, 10 over 11 is bigger than 14 over 17, but 9 over 11 is not. So what that tells us is that we only need to look at the numerator one less than the denominator for the rest of this game. So for b equals 10, we just have to check 9 over 10. For b equals 9, we just need to check 8 over 9, and so on and so forth. All the way down until we get right here to 5 over 6, which is bigger than 14 over 6 17. Next, we move to the next smallest denominator, which is 5. And we see that for the denominator of 5, 4 over 5 is less than 14 over 17, so this will not work. But what that tells us is that no smaller denominators will work either. They will not give us a fraction which is bigger than 14 over 17. So looking at this, we see that we need to find the minimum of all of the numbers in these purple boxes on the board along with these that are kind of in the middle, but five over six is gonna be clearly the minimum of all of those. So that means five over six is our R over B. But let's recall that our A over B was equal to one plus R over B, which is one plus five over six. So our A over B is 11 over six. And so that's the number that we're looking for up here. And that's a good place to stop.